Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm in the, uh, my little office area in my house today, so if you hear a fish tank in the background there, just never mind it, please. It, uh, you might hear it. I've had people here before when I do my videos in here. But All right, let's take a look here at Bitcoin. We have a big red candle here. Uh, I've been warning you know, about this 48,500 level for, for quite some time. Uh, that's where that 618 was at. A lot of sellers up there that 48,000 area and you can see that wick up there that's exactly what happened you know if you go on a 30 minute it really shows it up a lot better here look at that how this price ran up you had a lot of buyers come in there um how many look at this down here let me zoom in and show you this buy order we're just on the 30 minute uh there's 600 608 bitcoin right when this price action look at this here 608 Bitcoin right there, right here on this, whoops, I'm sorry, right on this candle right here, which pushed it up through, up through that Fib level. Look how it hit that Fib level perfectly that I have marked out here. How it hit it and, and, and started rolling here, you know, so that's $48,800 right there. Boy, it just came up right there and and then you had some sellers come in there and take some profits all right now is this thing going to bounce back up that's what we're hoping for here obviously so i've been keeping an eye on here when we had this move down here we didn't even have a uh, 618 retracement out of this thing came up to the 382 here and then started rolling right over all right once we lost this level right here at the 44,000 i don't know called 44,900 uh, you had some more selling pressure here. This is on the 30 minute too. Look at all this red right down there. You can see right down through when it hit right here and it lost that support. You had some more profit taking which brought it down here. Now $43,000. That is a weekly support level. All right. That's why uh, price action hasn't even touched that yet. Forty-three thousand dollars. It's actually like forty-three thousand twenty-five, somewhere right around there to be exact. But you don't want to see it lose forty-three thousand. Is it going to hold that? Well, let's take a look here. And if you would please hit the like and subscribe, guys. Consider becoming a member. Uh, had a uh, three um, members re-sign up yesterday. Thank you very very much. I very much appreciate that so much, guys. Uh, have sixty-two members now. Uh, level three membership is fourteen ninety nine. If you're interested, and that gives you eight hours worth of videos to learn how to do uh, all these trend lines, support lines, fib, everything. Eight hours and like seventeen videos in there to teach you, give you a head start on learning how to trade. You know, it's, 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 uh, we're going in a bull market here, so you're gonna have to have to have your you know crap together here it's going to get crazy and if you don't people are going to take your money that's that's the way it works and people are out there trying to take your money you're trying to take theirs and that's how this whole thing works and if, if you're not skilled enough to uh to, you know to take the money that's on the table then then the people are going to take it from you all right it's a brutal brutal market that you can make a pile of money in crypto no, uh, but you can lose a pile of money too if you know. So take every advantage you got. You know, if you don't learn from me as far as uh, videos and stuff like that, then, then please go pay someone. Go pay to take a class. You're gonna pay a lot more. I paid four hundred dollars for mine. After the last bull market, uh, as in the stocks and stuff a little bit, but crypto is different different animal for sure. All right. So if you're interested, please go check it out. Now let's take a look at a couple things here on the four hour even down through here we didn't have really we didn't have no abc's in here there's nothing in here to say that an abc was done in there nothing we never, didn't come up to a 618 we came up to a 382 and then rolled over here all right now we had a obvious area right through here right there okay you can see pretty clearly you know, this is on a one hour resistance all through here, resistance, resistance. And once it lost that, it came back up, it retested it as resistance. So 47,000 is going to be a crucial area if it gets back up there for sure. 
that's that's definitely an area to keep an eye on. It got re uh, rejected there numerous times. All right. Now, on a uh, if we look at the uh, uh, stochastic RSI here on the one hour, it's extremely oversold. Look how low this is. Look at it. It went down to a 21. It's down to a 27 now on the hourly. Hasn't been that low since back here. Back here, where it uh, where it ran up right down here where it ran up from uh, 41.5 and it ran up to 44.8 all right right down here on the RSI that's the last time it was that low the four hour kind of a similar thing going on here it's at a 32 down here 32 right down here at the bottom last time it was down there it did the same thing here right here ran from 41.6 up to uh, 43.7 all right, that four hour is oversold. The eight hour is just about to the bottom here. Okay, you can see it's at a five and an 18, and it's at a 40 down there. The 12 hour still pulling down, bearish at 24 to 45. It's at a 44 down here, and you got your daily uh, 51 and a 70. It's at a 49 on the bottom. Your weekly. 71 and a 72 and that thing is trying to put turn back up here it's it's really trying to then you got your monthly at a 196 so i'm i'm expecting i am definitely expecting a bounce here all right how high is it going to come you know that's the thing we're going to have to keep an eye on take a fibonacci and go from your swing high to your swing low down here of this wick and keep an eye on this thing all right right up at the, look at that Remember that level we put there on the hourly? Right here, this yellow line, okay? Now if we go back and open this up, that's the yellow line right here around the 618 and 702. You want to see a break of 47, $47,300 up here for this thing to go higher. That's the 702 level up here, all right? You got your 618 at 46,774. Keep a very, very close eye on these levels, guys. This is where it's going to uh, um, either make or break it for for a for a rally. All right, I'm trying to get a uh, yeah. It just completely rolled right over here, but I would definitely put a fib on this thing. Watch these levels. The 618 and the 702 has to break through $47,300 to go higher. And it's crazy that these levels are the 618, right between the 618 and 702 is where we mark that yellow line up here, that rejection area. That is going to be the $47,000 is going to be a big number when it comes back up to see if it breaks. All right, so keep a very, very close eye on them levels very very close and bitcoin dominance look how crazy this thing is look at this on the daily look at that candle this thing is just bitcoin dominance is just uh rolling over right now now is it gonna double bottom all right if it comes down and double bottoms down here that's extremely bullish okay that that would be bullish for this thing now on the daily uh, the daily still rolling over here. You got your. I'm sure these are all reset. The 12 is at the bottom. The eight's at the bottom. The four is oversold. The weekly is is bullish. Uh, the monthly is bearish. But it it looks like uh, in the short term, this thing's probably going to get a bounce down here. I would imagine. Okay, it, uh, I would definitely think that. So keep an eye on that. Uh, I'd love to see Bitcoin dominance come down lower i'd love to see it break that 51 level then would be get then then the altcoins are going to run like crazy uh, you know i don't hope bitcoin falls i just hope bitcoin dominance starts collapsing some more that would be uh that would be great for the altcoins that would definitely look at this red candle this is on the weekly here this thing just in the last week has dropped that's why you see the altcoins popping off like they are 5.6 5.67 percent that's a lot for bitcoin dominance so compare it to these past candles through here the size of that candle you know so that that could trigger a you know an alt season it's still falling right now i just watched it go down another tick very close level to keep an eye on 51 percent if it breaks that obviously obviously coming lower 
uh, went through that 786 on that one so we go from the swing low to the swing high here look at 618 between 618 and 702 we got the same thing as uh, the similar uh, circumstances as Bitcoin here but rate at that 51 percent is between the 618 and 702 all right thank you so much guys please hit the like and subscribe consider becoming a member i'd appreciate that very very much it gets you in the discord too we have a discord running over there a lot of good guys over there um and all right have a great night everybody i'll talk to you very very soon